Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Chokor Sumling. We are on day 32 and we are reading a page a day of this incredible book, Namrimiya, Making Life Meaningful Day by Day. Teachings on the Lamrim given by these great masters, Kyabjila Mayeshe and Kyabjila Mazukwa Rinpoche, over the years and compiled by Alison Murdoch and Sandra Smith and published by Lama Yeshe Wisdom Archive. Day 32, let's get started. Quote, making a strong determination to put Guru devotion into practice now and in the future is the remedy that prevents mistakes from happening again. End quote, Lama Zuparin Puchin. Text. We know about these eight benefits and eight shortcomings from our own experience. They describe the failures and successes in our own life. For example, we may try to do a retreat, but after some time, many disturbances arise and we fail to complete it. Or we may be living in ordination with the great ambition to work for the teachings and sentient beings, but it doesn't turn out that way. The wish is there, but it doesn't happen because there are many obstacles. Even though we may have all the conditions to practice dharma, many obstacles arise and we fail. Such obstacles are due to having made mistakes in our practice of Guru devotion in past lives or this one. Because we didn't practice Guru devotion well in past lives, we experience shortcomings in this life and many lifetimes to come, even though we meet the Dharma. Because we have made the same mistakes for many lives in the past, we create the results similar to the cause in this life. Even on those rare occasions when we meet a virtuous teacher and the teachings, we make the same mistakes again and again in our practice. However, even if we have made many mistakes, it is important to make the determination not to make them again. Using every means, especially quotations and strong reasoning, we should meditate again and again on the advantages of devoting to the virtuous friend, and the shortcomings of not doing so or making mistakes in devoting to the virtuous friend. If we do this, the wish to devote to the Guru will arise and we will feel great happiness in devoting ourselves to the Guru. The three big recalls for the day are, these benefits and shortcomings describe the success and failures in our own life. When we don't practice Guru devotion well, the same mistakes continue from life to life. Using quotations and reasoning, we should meditate on these subjects again and again. That's it for today. I hope you can carve out some time to listen to this, read, contemplate and meditate on the Lamrim. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.